Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today uh, we see uh, the magnitude comparator. All right, uh, magnitude comparator. I wrote some things down to save me a little time. All right, magnitude comparator, and specifically today we are discussing a two-bit magnitude comparator. All right, two-bit magnitude comparator. Now, what does the competitor do? As by the name it is clear, it will compare two numbers, all right? Two, it can compare to n bit binary number. This n could be one, it could be two, three, four. Today, the bits that we're discussing today, we have a two bit binary numbers, two, two bit binary numbers, and we are gonna compare them, all right? To check, so, so why do we compare things? To check whether which one is greater, which one is smaller, or are they equal? So which means this competitor has got three outputs, and that three outputs are what? Either A would be less than B, or either this A would be greater than the B, or the third one is that A is equal to B. Which means if you show it like this in a box, let's say this is a competitor, competitor. And you give it two words. Let's say this is a word A. This could be of any bits. This is the word B. So this comparator will work on it. It has its own circuitry. And it can give you either of the three possibilities. All right. So it can show you an equal possibility. It can show you that one is less. Or it can show you that the other one is greater. So it can have a possible of three outputs. Now here I am. I've written these down for myself. A1, A0 represents the first number. B1, B0 represents the second number of A and B. All right, so now, for the first case, who are here? Till here, if you see, till here. So your A is zero, okay? Your A is zero as B is changing, all right? So in the first case, both of them are zero, which means that A is equal to B light would be on, all right? Now for the second case, B is 1, so which means B is greater, so over here we have this line. A would be less than B. Then over here, again A is less than B, and again A is less than B. Alright, now for the next cases, for the next cases if you see, uh, A is 1 till here. A is 1 till here, okay? So which means, now what happens? Uh, 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 B is changing, all right? So A is now one. Uh, in this case, A is greater than B because B is zero, okay? A is equal to B now because both of them are one. For the third case, we have B greater, okay? So this one. Uh, I did it wrong, okay? Yeah, yeah, I did it correct. In this case, what? A is greater, B is greater, all right? So it means A is less again, so this would be 1. And over here again, A is less than B. All right. Now what do you do uh, for these four cases? You have B, A as a 2, okay? A as 2. So 2 is greater than 0, of course. So this one. A is greater than B. Then again, 2 is greater than 1 also, and then 2 is equal to 2, and then 2 is less than 3. All right? Are we clear? Now, finally, finally, we'll have, uh, for here, we have A is 3, all right? So 3 is, of course, greater than 1, and then 0. 3 is greater than 1 also, and then 3 is greater than 2 also, and 3 is equal to 3 for the final case. Now the rest of them you fill it as zeros, all right? So this would be zero. All right, so this is now the final table. Uh, the final truth table for the magnitude comparator, the 2-bit, okay? A less than B, A equal to B, A greater than B. Uh, while I pause the video, I, cha I change the colors, all right? I made it more colorful and more, more precise, okay? 
And now what do we do? Now we have three outputs, so for each three outputs we need to have a function, all right? And we, this is a longer one, so we do it through k-maps, all right? So for which I need to remove this part of it, okay? Uh, so, and I remove the whole, this part of it also. So I will be needing some space around here because then I have to draw the circuit diagram as well. So we need what? We need a three uh, K maps, 16 cell K maps, all right? So let's say this is the first. Okay. This is the second. All right, now you know uh, A1, A0, B1, and B0. A1, A0, B1, and B0. Similarly here, A1, A0, B1, B0. A1, A0, B1, B0. And also you know 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, similarly over here. All right, now you do what? You fill them up, okay? So let's say the first that we have is for A less than B. Okay, this one is let's say for A less than B, and I will be writing the equations over here, okay? A less than B. Uh, so we fill him up, okay? So zero, triple one, 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 okay? Then we have a double zero, a double one. And then you have a triple zero, one, and then you have the rest of them zeros. Now you know how to fill them up, how to group them up, okay? So let's say I group them in this way. This is the first group. Uh, this is the second group. And this is the third group. So I write, for the, for the first, we have what? We have an A1 complement, A1 complement, A1 complement, uh, and, and then over here you have a B1, okay? So what? Uh, you have a B1, and then, now, now this is the first group is done. Now for the second group you have what? For, this is the second group, so for the second you have an A1, not complement so or a not complement and you also have a b1 b0 b1 b0 all right and finally for the third group you have a1 complement a not complement a1 complement a not complement and over here we have a b0 so this is the equation for what? For A less than B, okay? So now let's say I remove this because I need space, more and more space. So now for A, uh, for A equal to B, this is now for A equal to B. Oh, that is simple. Let's say for first we have for A greater than B. For A greater than B. I hope you won't find it confusing, all right? So this is, let's say, for A greater than B. For this column, we have a four zeros, then we have a one, then we have a triple zero again, then we have a double one, double zero, then we have a triple one. So it's like this, all right? Now what do you have? You have this as the first group, and I will write the equation down as well. So in this case, you have, uh, a, a1, A1, and then you have a B, B1 complement, A1 and B1 complement, all right? Then for the next group, let's say this is the next group. So over here you have an A1, A0, or A1, A0, and similarly you have a B0 complement, B0 complement, okay? And finally, let's say this is the third group, so or you have a... Uh, a, a, a naught and B1 complement, B naught complement. All right, is that clear? And now finally, for A equal to B, for A equal to B, we have what? So we fill it up over here. 
this is the case, so you have a 1, you have a triple 0. Then you have a 0, 1, double 0. Then you have a double 0, 1, 0. And then you have a double 0, 1. Double 0, 0, 1, all right? Now this is over here, and this is over here. Okay, so you check them out. A 1, triple 0, then a 0, 1, double 0, and then a double 0, 1, 0, triple 0, 1, all right? Now in this case, I show you a shortcut, all right? Whenever you have this sort of a configuration, four variables map, and the reverse diagonal is filled up. So in that case, you have what? The, for example, here we have the most significant A1. So you take A1 and you ignore it with the leftmost of the, the rows value, so which means B1. And then you, uh, then you multiply it with A0, XNOR B0. Now this is the shortcut, all right? If you want to prove it for yourself, so you take each one of them single, single, and then finally you will reach that conclusion, all right? Now what I do, I draw the diagram for it, okay? The logical diagram for all the cases. Okay, so I've drawn the required inputs over here, all right? Now what do you do? You, for A less than B, you need uh, three AND gates. So, so let's say here we have them, three AND gates, and finally their output is OR together. So this is the A less than B case, all right? A less than B. Now for A greater than B, you have what? You have two AND gates and then they're OR together. So this is the two AND gates, and their output then is OR together. This is for A greater than B. Now for A uh, equal to B, you have exclusive NOR gates, and then they are ANDed together. So you have exclusive NOR, sorry for the drawing, and they are ANDed together. This is A equal to B. All right, now we give them the required inputs, all right? So if you can give them yourselves, so I believe you pause the video right here and you do it directly, all right? Okay, so, so let me open the markers first. All right. Okay, so for the first we have an A1 complement and B1. Uh, so it means A1 complement is here. You have a B1 to it, which is with the black color, all right? And in the second gate, you have A0 complement. This is the A0 complement. Then you have B1 and B0. So B1 is black, and B0 is green. All right, now the third, you have an A1 complement, A0 complement, which means this blue, A1 complement, and then A0 complement is this red, and you have a B naught, all right? So we're done with the first A less than B. Now for A greater than B, you have an A1 and B1 complement. So which means this is the A1. Then you have a B1 complement, which is this black color. And then you have A1, A naught. You have A1, A naught. And the third is B naught complement, which is with the green color. And, oh, sorry, I missed the third gate over here, the third gate. So let me draw it over here, okay, not over here. So I'll remove one of these gates or both of them. So this is the third gate for it, all right, the end gate. Now, and over here we had the exclusive NOR gate. All right, this was A equal to B and the second exclusive NOR gate. Now for the third over here we have A naught. Uh, A naught is in the red color. Then we have B1 complement and B naught complement. So B1 complement is this one and B naught complement is this one. So we're done with A greater than B. For A equal to B we have A1 exclusive node B1. So A1 is exclusive node with B1. And it's also A naught exclusive node with B0, A0 
exclusive nor with be not and then they are ended together okay so that's all about the what the two bit magnitude compared and that's a diagram all right for a less than b greater than b and e equal to b similar you can have a four bit magnitude comparator in the same way as well okay so that's all about today that's all about the two bit magnitude comparator see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye